Hello and welcome to my channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, so since the last time we talked, my dog, Sophie, she had her fifth birthday. I made her a really freaking cool uh, birthday cake. I just grind the kibble up and put stuff on it. And I spoiled the heck out of her with a uh, bunch of treats and bones and stuff like that. Also did an art show at Copper Creek. Um, there's all my paintings and stuff, kind of my setup. Just some more of my paintings right here. I sold the one on the bottom right. And then I also sold the one on the bottom left on this one. Uh, a couple more, too. I sold six total. Okay, so here's the painting that uh, everybody wants to kind of see, and I'll kind of show you. Here is a little detailed video of it. Uh, I think it's about a minute long or so, but just kind of goes over some of the stuff, shows the copper kind of floating on the top. I really like this one. So in my mind, I was kind of like, well... You know, I kind of like uh, old copper with some patina on it, like maybe plumbing like a copper pipe you might see in a house or something. This is what it really reminds me of. It reminds me of that a lot. Uh, just the buildup of the pigments and everything else like that. This one came out really freaking awesome. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. So I will uh, go over the list of ingredients and stuff like that. I'll show you everything throughout this video. And yep, that's what we'll do. But before we go over that painting, I'd like to go over a couple other ones. So my friend Shauna Macbeth came down from Michigan. She celebrated her 30th birthday here in Des Moines. And uh, while she was here, we painted. So we planted out and painted, and she really likes it. We made a couple. I've still got to get them shipped up to Michigan, so I've been awful busy, and I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But just kind of studied and watched how the epoxy candy products worked in the resin and just kind of studied it and watched it and... This is kind of leading to how we get to where we're going. So I like to, you know, rewatch my videos and figure out what I did. Now this one right here, this is a neon one. Uh, wasn't the best color palette that I chose. I was going for a red neon one, but I did learn some stuff here in the video. Um, what I did learn is, you know, how much heat you can kind of apply to it and what effects you can get to it with the type of resin that I use. Uh, I used Pro Marine Supply in this. And then while looking at this and the epoxy candy products and, and what's in there, I'm like, man, I'm like, if I had a different base coat, I could make some awesome looking stuff. So that's kind of how where we're getting to where we're going also. Also, my friend Renee McDonald, she came down from uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. She lives all the way up there. She's helped me out, you know, like with photo editing and stuff like that to try to get my prints online. And uh, she came down and we did a painting together and uh, I just kind of showed her some stuff. She wanted to try some stuff. She studies it. She does a lot of flow paintings and she's got a flow class that she does up in Fort Dodge. Uh, and then this painting, it just kind of reminded me because she used just all pigments and everything. Kind of reminded me how the pigments, you know, they just always sink to the bottom. And then in this video right here, this is a art table that I made that I use at my, uh, oh, I use it on my art shows. And what it did is I kind of watched the ingredients and stuff like that that I use. I use a lot of uh, silvers, coppers, and bronzes in here with a little bit of white that went over top of it. And I noticed that my golds and my coppers with some of the pigments floated. Okay, so now on to this painting right here. Everybody kind of wanted to know what I used for the base coat on it. I actually used a uh, Rust-Oleum metallic copper base coat. So, you know, this just shows me right here mixing up my resin. I do use Pro Marine. Um, a lot of people have been bashing it here lately, say it turns yellow. I've actually got a painting in my basement that I haven't had any problems with at all. Um, I've heard Stone Coat was sending out half empty gallons and, you know, problems with their stuff. Uh, I don't know, you know, if it works for me, that's what I'm going to stick with. I haven't had any issues with this yet. Uh, so there you go. That's kind of my feelings on that right now. But yeah, watch, uh, watch this video. I'll shut up now. Thanks. Oh yeah, and the size of this one is 24 inches by 24 inches. I use approximately 24 ounces of uh, resin. When I mix my resin also, I add a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol to it to, you know, add and extend the working time of it. 
Uh, Pro Marine, most of the time I can get, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes out of it. So it's been kind of cold here uh, in the Des Moines area. Pleasant Hill actually is where I'm from. Uh, it's been getting down to be about 45 at night right now. So I did turn my heat on. I've got the thermostat set at about 72. Uh, resin seems to still like to work in that general range. So if you are in a uh, cold area or a hot area, keep that, you know, in mind. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, so I'm just like watching this and like doing all my voiceover stuff and editing it. Uh, I guess one part I forgot to mention that's real important, you know, um, make your base coat work for you. You know, if you're going to have some colors on top and then say if your resin, you know, cuts through or something like that and you can see the bottom through it, uh, you know, have maybe a matching color or a color that will look, you know, pretty good. So make that base coat work for you. You know, that's what it's there for. You don't always have to have white or black or like the wood color. You can you can pick whatever the hell you want, you know, just make it look good. All right. Yeah, that's what I had to say. All right. Okay, so I just right here, I put a, you know, just some resin down on the painting itself and let it sit for a little while. It gives it a little coat to kind of help everything slide around. Um, after I let it set, I take the heat gun over top of it and I pop some bubbles too after I get done mixing up the rest of the pigments and uh, paste and paint. And yeah, so just watch this. Uh, I guess you could call this little camera I've got set up like the uh, mixing cam, if you want to call it that. I just fill up all my cups. Uh, these are, you know, the smaller five ounce cups. And then it'll just show me adding the pigment and the colors. And I tried to edit the video to where it'll slow down and show the actual colors that I used. Um, you know, and then I kind of show mixing it, you know, what kind of colors they give off too. So this is just a little webcam. It does some autofocus stuff. It's kind of weird. Uh, the other camera I'm using is a uh, Sony, so it's a little bit better video quality. Uh, but yeah, so if it focuses in and out, sorry about that, but I haven't found a way to fix that yet. So anyways, uh, yeah, watch this. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the uh, video quality too and the angles and everything like that. I'd appreciate it.
Now these uh, Art Tree Creation pigment powders, the metallics, the copper, and then also the aluminum that's going to be coming up here, they are a very, very strong pigment color, so you don't need a whole lot of them. Uh, this will kind of show you what they look like, you know, but yeah, just want to say that. I, uh, I didn't really have a game plan here, you know, when I start to paint. I just knew I didn't want to do, like, straight lines. I kind of wanted to do something zigzaggy. Um, just started putting the colors down and just kind of went with where my eyes thought everything looked good at. But I knew to save the copper for last because I wanted that to be the top coat. I guess in here it's just to know your products and know what your products can do. That was the whole point of the video in the beginning with the time lapse. Uh, you know, I just applied kind of like what I learned, you know, I know the pigments will sink. I know that the paste that I use from, uh, epoxy candy will float a little bit. And then I know that the pigments that I use from art tree creations will, you know, really float on top a lot. So I just kind of applied everything I've learned, you know, um, yeah, just pay attention to what you're doing, I guess, and see what your results are. Uh, yep. And I'll quit talking now so you can watch me.
Okay, so now this kind of goes back to, you know, what I've learned and everything like that and how I'm applying it. I know that this resin can take some heat with the heat gun. I kind of learned that in the neon video, um, and I've known that from before also. But I also know that this copper, when you heat it up, it'll spread out, you know. So that was my whole game plan with the top coat of the copper. That's why I saved it for the last part. Uh, and then I just kind of go through and I touch it up with, you know, where I think some other color should go, where I don't think it looks quite right at. And I just kind of keep adjusting till I'm happy with it. And that's what I do, you know. Um, some of them I have a game plan where I go and some of them I don't. But uh, this one came out really good looking. So, yeah, hopefully you still like it.
Okay, so here is the uh, painting. It's pretty much finished right now. I just come back in for the next hour to hour and a half and I pop bubbles and I scrape the bottom of it, you know, try to get rid of the micro bubbles in it. Uh, yeah, I did have some leftover resin, so I made a little little painting with it, but it's, it's all right looking. All right, so here are the ingredients that I used. Um, there's everything. And here is a close-up of it. You know, it shows all the cells and everything like that. And yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty freaking good looking painting. So the silvers, the teals, the coppers, the green, man, it just it looks really really good. Yeah, kind of love this one. It's got to be up there with my favorite ones. Just that build up of that pigment right there is pretty sweet looking. I like it. I'm a big fan. those cells right there man they're so cool looking love that a copper is just it's just gorgeous on there it is very good looking all right here are the ingredients again um, art tree creations epoxy candy uh, golden paint and a uh, rust-oleum copper base coat on it uh, the teal I'll figure that out and I'll put it in the description uh, here are some close-ups of it of everything like that I took with my DLSR man it's an awesome looking painting I love this thing uh, she's gorgeous and yeah, that's probably got to be one of my favorites right there. That's pretty freaking cool. Look at the reflection of this copper, man. Look at that reflection of the light. That is freaking badass. That's awesome. All right, here's the painting again. There it is. All done. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll try to post one a week. And yeah, there you go. Thanks. Bye.